So now running through the different types of paid ads that we run, um, I'll touch on each of these individually, but they are the shopping search and product ads, the paid search ads, display banners, social media, YouTube, Gmail, and then paid content. Um, so starting with shopping ads, the most important thing here, um, talking about e-commerce, um, these shopping ads are only available um, with for sites that have an online checkout process. So if you need to, you know, have somebody call you over the phone to complete an order and, and arrange shipping that way, these won't work for you. Um, the other thing that is required in the setup of these ads is you also need a Google merchant account. Um, so this is allowing Google to collect all of your payment information, tax information, shipping information, um, organize it appropriately. But it's also what is sending the product information to the shopping feed itself. Um, of course, the shopping ads are managed in the Google Ads platform. However, um, you do need that merchant account to make sure that your products um, adhere to Google standards and guidelines. So again, you know, these shopping ads show up right at the top of the search, uh, search query. So in this scenario, um, for our past client that we talked about, Rock and Rescue, um, they sell carabiners. So if somebody's searching for this product, you know, you are showing up here at the very top of their search query. So again, this is important to take up real estate here, but also to make sure that your products are visible and available to those who may be looking for your product. Um, the second type of ad that we're going to cover are the paid search ads. I'm pretty sure everyone on this call has seen these. Um, these are the ads that show up at the top of your screen um, whenever you're placing a search query. So the shopping ads, they may show up here on the right, um, depending on how wide your browser is, or they'll be at the top. But search paid ads are always going to be available towards the top of the query. Um, they're marked by this nice little green ad um, icon. Uh, the other difference that you'll notice between these ads and other search results is um, the other search results will show up based on your SEO ranking, where these paid ad search ads can be placed and instantaneously, instantaneously show up on on search. So really powerful way to accelerate that process of showing up towards the top of search, uh, search queries on Google and Bing. Uh, another type of display, um, ad we're going to talk about are the display ads. Again, everyone has seen these, you know, these are ads that pop up visual ads throughout the Google display network, which is a series of millions of websites um, that allow advertising on their platform. Um, it really can be used in a very dynamic way where you can either have display ads that show to visitors who are searching for a specific keyword based ad around your product. Um, they can also be used for remarketing purposes. So if somebody has visited your website or in an e-commerce scenario, if someone had added one of your products to their cart and maybe perhaps forgot to finish that conversion or that purchase, um, you can then show a remarketing display ad to someone. And in this scenario and in this environment, we're actually able to show um, through product feed, we can show someone that exact product that they had searched for or they had had in their cart. I know personally this gets me um, quite often. <laughs> I'm pretty guilty of buying things that show back up um, that I may have forgot about. Uh, another way to get your diamond, I'm um, sorry, another way to get your display ads into um, these websites is by this paid content sections within the website. Um, so you've seen these on news sites, blog sites, where they might have ads throughout the content that you're viewing, but they always have these paid content sections towards the bottom of their website as well. So again, Another use of display ads allow you to get onto websites where your visitors and target audience may be, um, may be spending some of their time. Another area of ads that we focus on are the social ads. So, um, you know, this is very powerful in the B2C space. 
Facebook obviously has over 2 billion monthly active users. Um, so quite a broad range of users that you can target and deliver your ads to. Um, the conversion rate for Facebook ads is actually really nice. Um, it tends to hover above what we see average on Google and Bing. So again, a very engaging platform. Um, another bonus here, you know, as you can run social media ads on LinkedIn as well, um, we see the most powerful and the most results for a B2C scenario come from the combination of Facebook and Instagram. And because Facebook owns Instagram, you're able to control those ads from one platform on Facebook. So it makes it really easy to get not only onto the Facebook um, feed, but also onto an Instagram feed as well. Um, again, you know, these ads can be used for remarketing. So if someone had spent that time on your website, had something in their cart, you can remarket them directly on not only just Google and the display network, but also on Facebook and other social media platforms as well.